57 mag here. Today's subject is the K Bar Becker BK2. I bought this for the same reason most of you have K Bar reputation, quality, and batoning some serious wood, man. This baton some wood. Uh, on this particular knife, the price point, I picked it up on eBay for $60, including shipping. Yeah, that was a good day. Uh, sometimes you can get it for maybe $65, but $60 is the best price I've seen. So I'm going to do a quick look on this. Uh, this is really one solid knife. It really looks good, especially in my hands. I really like this knife. Uh, the specs, it's one pound, it's a heavy knife, but you need that if you're going to do some batoning, you know, chopping off limbs, the kind of work you do with a heavy duty knife in the woods. The blade thickness on this thing is a quarter inch, so if you can see that, that's really thick. If you look at that, that's, that's really it's a solid It's made of 1095 blade. Crovan steel, and again, what, th what that really means is that the exposed part of the knife is going to have a tendency to rough, if you, you know, to rust if you don't take care of it and keep it oiled, which is okay. On this particular blade, it's a uh, full flat grind for about three quarters of the blade up to here. So that allows you to get into the wood when you're batoning it and get it to really split well. Uh, it's a full tang, and it also has a very serious pommel at the end, which you can use uh, for various reasons. You might be able to knock in some stakes for your camping. You might be able to break some glass. And in the worst case, if you ended up having to use this as a, a weapon, a tactical knife, you know... Again, this palm one would make some good head shots. Okay, the measurements on this blade is overall, or the blade length is five and a quarter. Okay, that's on the cutting edge part. And the overall length is ten and a half inches. Uh, the actual edge on this is 20 degrees, which makes it very sharp. Uh, the handle material, it's a grivery, that's what they call it. it it's a Swiss made product consisting of glass fiber filled nylon for added strength. So that's this material on the handle. It's called grivery, it's made by the Swiss. Uh, the blade shape, it's a drop point blade, so you can see it's pretty got a good belly on it. Uh, you could also use this probably for uh, hunting and skinning. It's uh, skinning so It does uh, come game. with a uh, pretty nice sheath. This is a plastic material here. Uh, this is a nylon type material there. Uh, this is made in Taiwan so they're keeping the cost down. So let's get to the concept of use on this knife again. Uh, from what I can tell, its primary use is going to be for wood processing. Again, uh, it can chop off limbs. Uh, I'm sure you can hack small trees down with this. Uh, uh, its primary use is basically batoning a lot of wood. So again, in the areas of chopping, batoning, and feathering wood, this knife uh, is really good. As a matter of fact, I can see this baby strapped to my belt as I go through the woods and start felling trees, you know. <laughs> Under a secondary uh, concept of use, I think this is more of a hunting or survival knife. Again, with this belly on it, uh, it should be able to gut and skin and section process meat. 
I can this, see this being used in the kitchen. You can probably perform some bush, bushcrafting tasks. And I basically see in it, uh, you know, also used in a survival situation. Uh, why they got it as a combat knife, I don't know. Anyway, on the positive sides, this is a very solid and quality knife. And it looks really nice, especially in my hand. So, And basically, at $60 price point, I think this is a steal. On the negatives, uh, I don't see any at this point. However, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on this, and there seems to be some issues with the actual grips themselves and with the sheath. Yes. So this is my part one of a four part series of this knife. So part one is just a quick look and kind of discussing the categories of use. Part two, I'm going to look into the issues uh, that have been identified in the grips and sheaths and I will summarize that and we'll go through those in the next video. And then part three we'll address those mods and talk about the ones I think I should incorporate this into this knife to make it I would know suggest to meet its intended use. And in part four I'm going to go through the mods as I incorporate them and see if we've corrected the issues identified in part two. Okay, that wraps up part one. And let's just check this out, you know, out of the box. Let's see how sharp this is. They come pretty sharp. And you can see that's not bad. I don't think this is razor sharp. <clears throat> But for its intended use, I think it's more than adequate. <clears throat> Again, thanks for your time. Have a great day. And remember, long live rock and roll in the American dream. And if you don't have one and you plan on doing some uh, woodwork out there as you're camping, this might not be a bad choice. Thank you.